Now that we have our portfolio channel fully set up, we can begin publishing content to it. Notice that now when you hover over publish, there's two options here. You can go to pages or portfolio. And we're going to go to portfolio. And we see that our custom fields are here now. And this gives us a better idea of some of the flexibility and strength of Expression Engine because this looks very different than the generic custom field content area that we had um, with the pages that just had one text area. These have, you know, a dynamic image uploader as well as the ability to paste in a link. So we will just name these for the purpose of this demo, example one through six, and we know that in our final design we want six of them lined out here. Um, so what we will do is we'll just go through, select our images, and we will just add in a hashtag with the URL to that specific page. We don't need to worry about the dates, categories, other options for these, and we'll just go ahead and start adding these into Expression Engine. This isn't something that really needs to be watched for the entire time, um, but we'll do a few together here just so that you can see the process of what we're doing. And it is data entry, but Expression Engine does make it pretty smooth here. This will be example three. Of course, for your sites, you would add a little bit more variety in your content. And we're just going to jump right ahead, uh, paused out and uh, added the rest of them. We'll add the last one here, six. And submit that. Now, before we move on to the template, something that's important to look at is that under content we see two options for publish, but by default there's only one area for edit. And this generic edit page in Expression Engine holds all the data for all the channels. And it doesn't really sort between them automatically, or by default it does it by date. But what you begin to see here is that if you have a lot of content on your site, this page is going to get very big and as it starts getting paginated and there's a lot of content, hundreds of pages, dozens of pages even, um, it can get difficult to find exactly what you're looking for. Now imagine that example one through six, instead of being named that, they were named after different sites or different projects that we had. And then pages on our site um, also had different names um, titles, for example, that showed up as H1 tags, it can be difficult to begin to distinguish what content is what behind here in the control panel. There is a very popular extension, a module called Structure. And what Structure allows you to do is create a very intuitive tree um, styled nested hierarchy of your pages and even be able to add dynamic pages to a section of your site. And this is something that's very popular with a lot of Expression Engine developers because by default Expression Engine does not give you that tree formatted view, it just gives you everything. Now it does have some nice features such as Ajax Live Searching, so I didn't even type home right and it, and it comes up with the home page, I can change it to about and that'll change. Um, if I wanted to, I could select just the pages and then look for them. But um, depending on what con uh, client you're working with, even having them come to this page can be intimidating and then having them drill down um, through drop downs on top of that. So um, again, it goes back to even just with this home page, why we titled it the way that we did. Um, and just being aware that that it is a potential uh, place where clients could get a little disoriented, although plenty of them um, do just fine with Expression Engine. So now that we have all of our content in here and we have an idea of how to get back to it and edit it, let's go ahead and look at how do we take the content that is saved in Expression Engine and display it in this format here.